Hello and welcome to another car fix video from car fix where I do what I love and I love what I do in today's video I'm gonna be uh, repairing a head gasket uh, uh, on this um, 2007 Toyota Tacoma with the 4.01 GR engine now I did make a video about this engine before uh, uh, the engine was overheating uh, due to a coolant leak from the water pump the water pump was bad and uh, the engine was overheating and uh, it blew either uh, the cylinder head gaskets or uh, both cylinder heads so I'm taking a gamble on this one because I do not know uh, the condition of the cylinder heads uh, until I take them to, to, to the machine shop to have them checked out. Now, um, uh, before we begin, I'm going to have to disconnect the battery and uh, I'm going to work, 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 work my way uh, from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to remove the uh, induction the induction system on this engine, which is this air snorkel, uh, you know, surge tank, upper intake manifold or plenum, or the plenum, uh, whatever you want to call it, and uh, the lower intake manifold, uh, both valve covers. Uh, both exhaust manifold, uh, water outlet housing, and uh, the uh, front engine cover. And I might have to remove the power steering pump, alternator, AC compressor, and all that good stuff. Uh, this is a big job, it's not a small job, so it's going to take, a, uh, take uh, more than one video uh, to, to complete this, this job. Alright, now we're going to start by disconnecting the, the battery cable. This guy right here. And then and have to remove the snorkel 516 and disconnect the mass airflow sensor there we go Now after I remove the upper intake manifold and the air snorkel, I'm going to have to remove the lower intake manifold. Uh, but first I have to disconnect, uh, you know, the ignition coil, the injectors, and, uh, you know, move the, har the, the wiring harness, uh, you know, uh, away so I can uh, pull the lower intake manifold with the uh, fuel rail and injectors, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, attached to it so I don't have to disconnect the, the, the fuel line right there. All right, guys. Now, after I remove the uh, lower intake manifold and move to the side over there, yeah, the wire harness is out of the way except one wire that goes all the way down. Uh, but uh, now I'm gonna have to remove the uh, the uh, the shroud, the fan, the fan clutch, and the, uh, and the shroud, and uh, remove the uh, uh, water inlet housing right here, and disassemble the whole front of the engine. And after that, I'm, I'm just gonna remove the uh, the valve covers and the exhaust manifold. Uh, now those the ignition coils are still are still uh, in the engine, so I had to mark them so I know uh, so they go back uh, the, the, you know uh, on the same cylinders um, uh, they were on. Uh, so the next step will be uh, disassembling the engine from the front right here, uh, you know uh, power steering, alternator, um, drive belt, and everything. All right, guys. Now, after I took the uh, water outlet housing out and the thermostat housing, uh, I'm going to need to m remove the uh, the drive belt, uh, the the water pump pulley, and the water pump power steering alternator, and probably AC compressor, and all the uh, idler pulleys. Uh, and after that, I'm going to have to remove the uh, uh, the uh, uh, exhaust manifolds, and uh, then start with the uh, valve covers, ignition coils, and then the uh, front engine uh, cover. All right, guys. Now uh, I got the water pump out. I just want to show you how bad the water pump was leaking. You see, it's got so much play in it, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's a lot of play right there. And also, it was leaking out of the weep hole down here. Uh, normally, the water pump has two weep holes: one on the bottom, one on the top. Uh, this one is leaking from here because the bearing, the water pump bearing, went bad on it and uh it took out the engine uh now uh i need to remove the uh the oil filter oil uh, engine oil oil filter uh, uh cooler and adapter right here uh to, to, to remove the uh, the alternator and the ac compressor all right guys now uh, i removed the ac compressor the alternator and the uh, the drive belt tensioner which is basically the uh, the ac compressor bracket 
Uh, now also I had to remove the, the crankshaft pulley. Uh, in order to do that, uh, I had to, uh, to, to uh, remove the, the bolt. Now before removing the bolt, I had to uh, line up the, uh, the top dead center on cylinder number one with the zero mark on the, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, the zero mark right here, that's top dead center and it has a mark on the crankshaft pulley right here so these two marks have to be lined up uh, uh, you know before removing the uh, uh, the, the pulley also uh, in order to uh, uh, loosen the, the bolt for the uh, uh, harmonic balancer uh, I do not recommend an impact gun because even if it breaks loose uh, you're gonna have to install it when you install it you're gonna have to hold the crankshaft in order to uh, torque the bolt to uh, the correct specification um, now after after I did all that, uh, uh, I, I loosened the, uh, the exhaust manifolds. I got the exhaust manifolds off, as you can see right here. And this one is still on, but it's it's barely attached, so I just gotta have to. There you go. Now the exhaust manifolds are, uh, you know, separated from the from the cylinder head. So now I'm just I'm gonna remove the uh, the ignition coil, the spark plugs, and the the valve covers. And also, I still have uh, a water housing back there, which is, uh, feeds the, uh, uh, the heater core uh, uh, with coolant, and it goes uh, to the bottom of the engine. So but I'm going to leave this pipe here. Uh, I'm just going to take that housing right there, which is, I think it's got like four studs or four nuts, and uh, uh, remove the, the valve covers. All right, guys, now I got both valve covers off, uh, the spark plugs out, and uh, the uh, cylinder number one at top dead center. And also, I checked my timing marks on uh, on both banks, and they look uh, they look lined up, so that they're okay. Uh, now, uh, what I need to, to remove now, I need to remove the the front engine cover. Now, this uh, this engine, the front cover is actually uh, bolted to the lower uh, the upper oil pan down there. It's got I think like four bolts. Now, the repair information says that you you have to remove the oil pan. Now to remove the oil pan, I have to remove the front differential axles and uh, you know uh, the, um, uh, the the sub oil oil pan, which is the steel one. But I'm not gonna do that since the pick. This is the oil pump right here, and it's got a pickup tube that runs from here all the way down to the oil pan on the bottom. Uh, it does have an O-ring on it. It's not bolted to the uh, to the timing chain cover right here, uh, but it does have two studs. So in order for me to install this timing chain cover. Uh, the oil pan has to be removed, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do it without removing it, uh, just by removing the studs and sliding sliding it out this way. And uh, the, the pickup tube has an O-ring on it, so it's not bolted to the uh, to the oil pump or to the uh, front timing chain cover. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, so, you know, it's been a lot of fun so far. You know, removing the AC compressor and the exhaust manifolds. That was a lot of fun. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I need to remove next is uh, uh, the the front timing chain cover. All right, now we got the the uh, the timing uh, the timing chain cover or the front engine cover off. Uh, now I had to put a rag here because I don't want anything to fall inside the uh, the oil pan. Uh, now to remove the uh, the cylinder heads, I have to remove the timing chains and the cams because the head bolts actually under the cams, so the cams have to be removed in order to remove the uh, the cylinder heads. All right, uh, now I have removed the uh, the uh, the timing chain, the main timing chain, and the cams. Now all I have to do is uh, uh, remove the cylinder head bolts and uh, remove the heads. Now for bank one right here. You cannot gain access to the bolt because the bolt is right there. So all you have to do is just remove this bearing right here, and the bolt is right there. Now make sure to mark the bearing before you remove it, right there, so it can go back uh, the same way it was removed. All right, guys. Now I got both the cylinder heads uh, out of the engine right here. The head gaskets right there. Uh, uh, but I noticed uh, there's a problem with the uh, with the in intake valves on both uh, cylinder heads. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the left cylinder head right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but see this valve right there? And this valve, they're not seated correctly. So if I shine the light through the intake uh, port right here, you can see the light. You're not supposed to see the light 
that means the valve is either bent or or something is wrong with it and also the the valve seat itself is actually it looks like it's pushed out of the uh, push down that's not good too uh, this is the same too so I have two intake valves that I know they're they're, they're bad on, on the left side now for the right side it's the same situation on one valve which is well actually two valves see this valve right here and this valve right there those are intake valves now if I shine the light here I can't see the light but still it doesn't look good it does not look good and that one does not look good either so uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take them to the machine shop and see what they say if they get, can they fix them or not if not I'm gonna have to replace uh, both cylinder heads now uh, remember when you take the cams uh, out of the, uh, the cylinder heads uh, make sure you put them in order just like that uh, especially the bearing cams because they're marked and they have arrows on them so they have to be they have to be uh, installed in the correct position so this is the uh, the right side and this is the left side of course the actuators and the timing chain and also I had uh, an issue with the with one of the uh, cylinder head bolts on the right side right here uh, what is it uh, right here uh, the head of the bolt stripped out so what I had to do I had to drill it drill the head the head the head of the bolt uh, to, to, uh, to get the, the cylinder head out so that was a lot of fun all right guys this is the end of part one of this repair I'm gonna make part two once I get the uh, uh, the cylinder heads back from the machine shop and uh, you know about that time uh, I'll buy all the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the gaskets and the head bolts and the uh, the water pump for the engine and uh, part two is going to be about you know putting putting the engine back together and uh, you know uh, see how how it sounds when it runs uh, so uh, please do not uh, forget to like share and subscribe and uh, if you have any questions any comments please leave them uh, in the uh, comment section and also activate the notification bell so every time I upload a new video you will be notified and from now until the next car fix video thanks for watching and I'll see you then.